What's going on guys, Bank Robber Games here, more Ratchet Deadlocked using the PCSX2 emulator. Uh, last episode when we left off, we completed this planet Maraxxus, uh, which was a really cool planet. Um, I do wish they did a little bit more with it, same as Stygia, but overall it's a really cool looking planet. And um, it sort of looks like something out of Jack 3, so I recommend going back and watching that if you haven't seen it, because it was quite a fun episode. But after completing Maraxxus, that uh, gave us enough dread points to unlock the Liberator tournament. And this is the last tournament in the list, but it's not the end of the game. There is quite a lot of the game after that. And as you can probably tell, we'll be facing off against Ace Hardlight. Reactor and now Eviscerator. Cut down in their prime. Victims of that loathsome little Lombax. But just who is this ratchet? Our Vox News investigation has uncovered shocking untold stories from his dark, sinister, evil past. The destruction of civic property, illegal hoverbike gangs, Inadequate dental hygiene. Oh, be strong, Juanita, because there is one man that can put an end to this menace. Ace Hardlight. Ace Hardlight fans, prepare yourselves. I'm going to make this one messy. We'll see who the real hero is. When I'm through with that furry freak, nobody's even going to remember who he was. Thank you, Ace. The galaxy is rooting for you. We're all rooting for you. Thanks, babe. I think Juanita has a bit of a crush. But unfortunately, he's not going to be around too much longer, I don't think. I hope. This might go really bad. We'll see. So I thought the last wrench upgrade we had was actually the last one we got to purchase. Uh, but there is one more here. And I think this must be the last one then. Because um, we've already unlocked fire damage. And we're going to buy that because it's not too expensive. Looks exactly the same though. And then I am going to get the arm upgrade uh, for our bots because uh, last time we were just short a little bit of bolts to be able to buy this. And then after buying that, because we've progressed to the next tournament, we do have the other health upgrade or arm upgrade for our bots as well. So may as well get that. So I'm pretty sure that is all the arm upgrades we can get for our bots. And then I don't think there's any new paint jobs at the moment there is one more bot head though I did forget about this one being the cyclone pretty cool well, I still think either gatekeeper or the dreadstone standard are the best looking ones in my opinion still no owl or replacement for him after ace hard light shot him a couple of episodes ago. We're back in the battle zone as Ratchet begins the Liberator tournament. No contestant has made it through this baby all season, and frankly, I don't expect that to change today. Even if he does survive the series of rigged challenges and deadly traps, Ace Hardlight will be waiting to turn him into Lombax Filet. Is impressed. 
a tough cookie. What kind of cookie would he be? I'm gonna go with Snickerdoodle. Actually, getting a decent amount of experience uh, from these anchor biters, even if for whatever reason our frame rate isn't liking it too much. See if we can do another. Get some more XP for our B6 obliterator while we've got a limited ammo for it. Nice fun challenge there. Always enjoy your challenge with unlimited ammo. Just going crazy. I do wish our weapons were fully upgraded though. That way we could uh, just absolutely smash it. I mean, we did pretty well anyway. Um, but a lot of kills for a very short challenge. That's uh, quite cool. And we'll see what's next. Mom always said what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. On Red Zone, what does kill you gets us better ratings. Yeah! In this round, Ratchet will run and shoot faster and faster with each opponent he defeats. I wonder what Mom would think of that. Oh, this is a, a fun challenge. Like I said, the more enemies you take out, the faster you run and, and shoot. You see we're already speeding up there. And finally upgraded the obliterator to level 9. Does more, a lot more damage now. Um, seems to be sort of like the threshold for it. Um, being able to be carried um, usable sort of towards the end of the game. the droid's ultimate weapon. See it did a little bit better there. Sort of like a dart that um, bounces between enemies and does a lot of damage to them. I do wish that challenge went on a little bit longer so you can enjoy the sort of faster movement. Nice belt reward for it though. like this that I'm glad I gave up my ballet dancing career. Tonight we bring you Dreadzone's most highly anticipated matchup yet. In one corner, the undefeated grand champion exterminator, a legend in his own time, Ace Hardlights. And in the other corner, weighing in at uh, 97 and a half pounds, uh, most of it probably fluff or fat, ratchet. I mean, he's pretty hench considering he's only like Two foot tall. I wish it wasn't going to be over so quickly. Just try to keep it interesting while it lasts, would you? <laughs> I wonder what the actual ratchet's actual try. height is. This is as far but yeah, there is a skill point for defeating Ace Hard Light without taking any damage. So we'll obviously see if we can do that. And um, yeah, it's got some difficult attacks. He's 
quite similar to Dr. Nefarious in quite a lot of ways, actually. But every so often, they'll shoot out that shield, and then there'll be the holographic ace hard lights. And you do need to be careful of them because they can obviously shoot at you. Do you feel lucky? Have you ever wondered what's in the special sauce? But yeah, whenever he puts his shield up as well, he uh, gains a lot of his health back. And this is basically like the super weapon we have for our uh, droids. Uh, thankfully, we were sort of outside its cone of fire, so it didn't home in on us. Normally, that does just sort of follow you around for a little while. And um, yeah, you have to keep moving to make sure to avoid it. So we actually managed to get that skill point there of defeating Ace Hard like that, taking any damage, which is pretty cool. I didn't expect to do that. Um, yeah, I sort of uh, didn't realise, I well, never really realised that if you just stay really far away from him, most of the attacks miss you and circle, keep moving around the edge of the arena. I think normally I'd just try and go in with a Scorpion Flare and smash the hell out of him, but um, that obviously isn't as effective as what we did there. Um, yeah, the Arbiter really coming in handy there and proving how powerful it is. So I'll actually make a new recommendation for weapons to buy, and that being the Arbiter. I've never really um, enjoyed using it all that much before, but showing it off in this playthrough uh, is definitely, like I said, proving how powerful it is. It's one of the reasons why I like playing, replaying through a lot of these old games, that even when I played through them uh, a lot of times before, you know, I uh, find out sort of new stuff uh, I've either didn't know or forgotten about um, but yeah obviously that is Ace Hard Light Down so we've unlocked the Liberator armour and it does look pretty cool I do think it's probably my favourite armour in the game uh, but yeah let's see what happens after defeating Ace Hard Light the top exterminator and a few new, more locations as well watch out for the new Liberator <laughs> you can't beat me. You're just a half-sized rodent with a big wrench. Stay down, Ace. Don't embarrass yourself. Embarrass? <laughs> embarrass? I'm Ace Hardlight. <laughs> you were a hero once, Ace. Ratchet. <laughs> Don't let Fox do to you what he did to me. <gasps> You're the hero now. You want to see me, Vox? <laughs> My boy, you're the grand champion of Dreadzone. The whole galaxy wants to see you. Don't you see, kid? I've been doing everything in my power to make you a star. I've transformed you from a worthless nobody into the hottest celebrity in the galaxy. Right. So that's why your news show is slandering me every six seconds. Slandering? Why? I was building up your bad boy image. Oh. And this is the thanks I get. Whatever. Now, now, don't be such a baby. I'm about to offer you the opportunity of a thousand lifetimes. I'm making you the new captain of the Exterminators, the star of the show. Think of it. We'll make billions. 
We'll sell ratchet action figures, ratchet sports shoes, ratchet deodorant, ratchet breakfast cereal, earmuffs and cologne, soft drinks, hard drinks, energy drinks, breath mints. <laughs> you get record deals, movie rights, reality shows, video games, and commercials, 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 commercials. <laughs> and then, and there's a... No deal, Vox. What did you say? I'm not your puppet, Vox. You actually think I'd kill other heroes to get rich? You're not just corrupt. You're stupid. Why you... You just signed your own death warrant. So we're done then. Let him go. Yes, sir? We're gonna need one final Dread Zone campaign. Have them prepare that, um, experimental one we developed. Sir, you don't mean the Gauntlet of Doom, do you? Yes. Uh, but, sir, it was mathematically proven to be unbeatable. Um... Right away, sir. Yeah, I think um, I do like Vox as a villain, and I like the fact that he mentioned video games. Uh, Jack 2 did a similar thing when we sign a contract with Crew, and it mentions uh, video games, and there's a bit of a fourth wall break where Jack and Daxter both look at the camera, which is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I do like the fact that in Ratchet Gladiator, um, Ratchet does have that sort of mean streak in him, like he does in the first game and a little bit in the second and third games but definitely not as much you know where um he's sort of got a bit of an attitude to him and i think that is something that is sort of a bit lacking in the uh, games that came out came out on the ps3 yeah he was um um he was sort of too nice in a way and that sort of attitude um wasn't there anymore. I guess it's a little bit part of his character development, but I think um, they did enough of that with the first game, you know, where he gets all angry at Clank and then he sort of turns around and learns the error of his ways. I've just remembered to look into the uh, Battle Dome to see if there's any more challenges to do now we've got the Liberator Tournament done, the Liberator Tournament. So we have got uh, two challenges here, and Dynamite Baseball, I'm not quite sure what this one is. Oh, we're getting down to the end, folks. Let's see how he handles the danger round. so much ammo for the uh, dual vipers when you start leveling them up or, you know, when they're close to max level but we've been pretty much firing solid for the last couple of minutes yeah, once you get them level up to level 10 the maximum level in new game uh, before heading over to our next zone we have to explore because the level 10 upgrade will come really handy um, in that uh, zone and the sort of environment we're fighting in
actually wanted to test out the wrench a little bit. Let's see what the fuss is about. But it doesn't seem to be uh, much difference in the wrench other than the fact that it does that damage over time. But I think we have quite a good opportunity to get some experience here for one of our more explosive weapons. Could try and get the Arbiter up to level 7. I quite like the Scorpion Flail too much. Didn't actually take all of them out then, which is a bit surprising. Got a lot of dread points for that as well. What a fun challenge, just standard arena challenge, but um, still pretty cool. This this challenge is really cool. Um, our health drains. I think the arena gets smaller, and your ammo uh, drains as well. But we have finally got our dual vipers up to level 10 and that comes the dual raptors and you'll notice that the bullets sort of bounce around and they do sort of aim towards other enemies you can see some of them sort of bounced off the ship to get some of the guys that jumped out of it and uh, yeah it'll come in really handy for the um, next next area we go to but good to finally get a uh, weapon leveled up to level 10 now we can sort of focus on getting all our other weapons up to level 10 as well will the person driving a mint green man ray 5 please report to security you're parked in my space Arbiter oh, definitely uh, getting more and more powerful. That 200 power increase every level is uh, definitely noticeable. I do like this arena soundtrack though. One good thing about the Scorpion Flail is you do get a lot of ammo drops from the enemies you uh, defeat uh, with it. So for this challenge and quite a lot of other challenges it is very uh, good. And I'm pretty sure it gives you health as well. Um, or has a high chance of making enemies drop health. Well, that might only be in New Game Plus. Finally got it up to level 9. I do want to get the Magma Cannon kind of leveled up. So it is actually quite powerful uh, when you get it to level 10. Looks really cool as well. What a fun challenge that one. The arena getting smaller there as well. Definitely gets cramps in at the end. You don't really notice the ammo draining all that much because by the time the arena is so small um, there's a lot of ammo pickups um, and you can pick up ammo from enemies you defeated depending on what alpha mods uh, sort of get unlocked as you level up the weapon. But yeah really fun, get loads of dredge points for that one as well uh, so that definitely shouldn't be an issue as we head towards sort of the end of the game. But yeah fun couple of challenges there. Then as we head over to the um, 
planet transporter you can see we've unlocked the ghost station which is probably my favorite level in the game and i remember the soundtrack being pretty cool for it as well um yeah really cool sort of theme you can see the ghost station is haunted by the angry spirits of dread zone's fiercest warriors um so yeah it's sort of ghost pirates the sort of start of that theme i guess um but it's yeah really really fun and in um with the sort of areas we're going to be fighting in uh like i said the dual uh vipers uh max level upgrade with the bullet bouncy bullets that will come in really handy for this but i'm going to save this for next episode obviously and uh wrap this episode up here and thank you very much for watching hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and been enjoying the series so far if you have been enjoying the series please like and subscribe for more and then that way you won't miss out on anything but thanks again for watching always appreciate having you guys here and i'll catch you guys in the next episode